The Buffalo Bills' first trip to the playoffs since 1999 should have been a celebration, even though it ended in defeat to the Jacksonville Jaguars at Everbank Field. Instead, the Bills left northeastern Florida with a sour taste enveloped in bit controversy and regret. Some of it was their own. Had Tyrod Taylor been a little better than 17 of 37 for 134 yards and an interception, the Bills would have beaten a Jaguars team that relied on its defense to overcome the limitations of quarterback Blake Bortles. Bortles avoided turnovers, but he threw for just 87 yards on 23 attempts. Had the Bills a more competent backup for Taylor than Nathan Peterman, they might have advanced to play the Patriots. Taylor was concussed on a hit by Dante Fowler Jr. Peterman came in and completed two first downs before throwing an interception to Jaguars cornerback Jalen Ramsey that ended the game. Keep up with this story and more by subscribing now the controversy surrounded Richie Incognito, a multiple Pro Bowl guard who, well, has a history of generating controversy. Yannick Nakaue, the Jaguars' defensive end, accused Incognito of racism during the game, tweeting in the early hours of Monday morning, Great win today. And 64, you go and have to come harder than some weak racist slurs. I'm proud of my African heritage, as are 70% of the other black players in this league. An independent report published in February 2014 found Incognito, a member of the Miami Dolphins at the time, had used verbal harassment toward Martin, who was then his teammate on the Dolphins. The report also concluded that Incognito and fellow offensive linemen Mike Pouncey and John Jerry used racial slurs and other racially derogatory language toward a Dolphins assistant trainer. Incognito was suspended for the final eight games of that season. Dion Dawkins, the Bills' rookie offensive lineman, defended Incognito from the accusation. Just for the world to know, everyone always trying to put some bad thing on it. 6-8-I-N-C-O-G-N-I-T-O I was next to my guy the entire game and the entire season and believe me, if he was saying some racist stuff I would have been the first to let him know that was out of line. Cut the BS, Dawkins tweeted. Just for the world to know, everyone always trying to put some bad thing on it. 6-8-I-N-C-O-G-N-I-T-O I was next to my guy the entire game and the entire season and believe me, if he was saying some racist stuff I would have been the first to let him know that was out of line. Cut the BS.